Hello guys and welcome. We are back with another review and this time we are doing the G.I. Joe Classified Scarlet. Um, I preferred this one to the movie one uh, just with the colouring and stuff like that. But there are a few things on this figure that I'm going to go over um, that are annoying but they're fixable. So um, I'll go over first what she come with. That, the crossbow. Uh, it does come in two pieces. Um, you can use it as a normal gun, I guess, and then you can use it as a crossbow. Uh, she also comes with her knives, which is just plain uh, black plastic. And that is all she comes with. Um, so before we do the articulation, I'll go over the things that are quite annoying about her. Her belt just spins around constantly. I mean, like as you saw at the start, I had it there, it's actually there, meant to be. It's it's just one of those things, it's like, just make a belt that fits the figure. It's not hard, but um, I'll probably just put a little bit of glue on that, just there, and then it'll hold it in place and stop it spinning around. Uh, you've also got this one up here, her um, bandolier that also spins around and stuff so they are quite annoying uh, in that sense but we'll go over her articulation so her head goes down that far back not so far because the ponytail kind of gets in the way uh, tilt that far and that far it's got full articulate uh, full rotation Obviously a ponytail does get in the way, um, but it is quite a good ponytail. It's like, you can mold it a little bit, so it's quite good. Um, arms go up that high, back that far, not that far, forward that far. She's got shoulder rotation, but she's got single jointed elbows. Uh, it's quite annoying. Uh, I think Baroness had double, I can't remember. But she had double jointed anyway. So she's single. Uh, the movie one is also single as well. Uh, she's got wrist rotation and then an up and down hinge on the wrist as well. This arm is the same, but it gets hindered by the shoulder plate as well. Um, she's got full like torso rotation, quite clicky as well. She crunches that far and forward that far. The legs go up that high, so, got that weird kind of thing. There you go, so they go up and split that far, so not that far. Forward that far, back not so far. She's got upper far rotation, double jointed knees. And then she's got a boot swivel as well and a ankle uh, hinge which goes up that far, down that far and it's also on a little rocker joint. So overall this figure is really nice and I've picked her up because I know who Scarlett is like, and I just think she looks cool. Um, always liked a crossbow, someone that uses a crossbow as well. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up in Nerd Base, uh, my local store, uh, for £12. Um, they got a few G.I. Joes on offer at the moment, so I thought I'd pick her up while she's going cheap. Um, so yeah, definitely worth picking this one up if you can. And I'll put her next to... I've got one standing here, let me go. I've got Flint, who I'm also going to be doing a review of. Um, just so you can see height difference, she's slightly shorter than the male figure as well. So yeah, hope you've all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for photos at the end. Thank you and goodbye.